That's the eight millimeter tile and 10 millimeter backer. Did great color. Six millimeter tile and a 10 millimeter backer. It did really well too. Yeah, it's still good. Okay. 23 minutes. Meant to put another one or two right there, but no pin. There's six in the little one. Caught them all. This was the plate that we shot in the first group of two, level three plus on the left. Five shots relatively close together within a couple of inches of each other. This is impressive because it stopped all of the M855 green tips, the steel penetrators, uh, and reasonable back face deformation back here. Strike face treatments underneath this rubber. And that holds these ceramic pieces in place as they start to come apart. Look how the, I want to point out the labels. This is a 5.5 pound plate, eight millimeter tile, 10 millimeter backer. And look how the label stayed on the backer really well. And cheaper labels uh, won't do that. And not that you need a label after the plate's destroyed, but it shows you the amount of wear and tear that the labels can endure anyway. <laughs> this shows you that we didn't have any perforations back here, no penetration of the polyethylene. I want you to notice this bond. 
because that is what makes, if you were thinking about a GTS plate, this bond is why you're buying this plate. This is different than other manufacturers, especially Asian and some other manufacturers. They don't have this kind of a bond and this kind of adhesive. Okay, this is why you buy the plate. So that you can see the that the polyethylene there was no perforation no pass through no penetration of the polyethylene backer for that bond was you can see that polyethylene right behind the strike face it completely delaminated from the layer in here that was left on the on the back on the backer you can see the the polyethylene right here see it That's a good result. I want to show you how, and if, if you are thinking about buying a carrier, look, pay special attention here. You can see right here that there is a entry point for, from the projectile. 30 caliber M2 armor piercing round went in right there. Now compare this entry to some of the entries that you see in other products. Okay, this carrier is made out of 1,670 denier ballistic Cordura fabric, two layers. Okay, as you can see, none of these fragments made it through the carrier. And there's your back face deformation, no pass through, no problems. Now you can compare, you can compare a Vitasi monolithic, you can compare our ceramic uh, mosaic strike face and what we just did all right here you can see the advantage of the mosaic arrangement because you see how the the small circle is actually a square a two inch square here it's not much more than that here with this with the strike face treatments and the adhesive bed but you can see the difference between the three and i, I shot the flex plate with two 30 caliber M2 armor piercing rounds. The first one went in here. The second one went in two point seven inches away from the first. That was the first one. We got a very good back face deformation on shot one. Shot two had a little bit more back face deformation. Flex, eight pounds. Let's pull it apart and have a look. You can see how there is no ceramic cracking here because it's UHMWPE. Very good bond. You can see that right there.